Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm just doing a beginner guide on intelligence as it relates to XP. Yes, I learned a lot yesterday, so I thought I'd pass it along. Um, yes, your intelligence actually uh, helps you out when you are trying to earn experience points. So the higher your intelligence, the more experience points you will earn. So uh, first off, let's go into one of the easiest way to get more intelligence. It is actually by joining public teams. If you've never joined a public team before or started one yourself, all you do is you go to your map. In the upper right hand corner, there's the R1 bumper for PlayStation. Then you just go over to the public teams and you're going to pick casual. Casual adds one point of intelligence, including yourself, to every member of your team. So that's up to four points. Of course, your specials are another way to uh, get intelligence. Now, I am a bloody build. What does that mean? I have armor that's called unyielding. And for every, let's see, I gain up to three points for every piece in my specials, depending on how low I go into my health. And that's why you see I'm not highly radiated, but I'm pretty close to, uh, I've seen other people go higher in their builds. This is where I usually feel comfortable. <clears throat> now, I will go higher if I'm especially wanting some more weight carry. But you can see that through this method... Uh, my intelligence, of course, with some other things. So this intelligence is not just from my unyielding or bloody build, but from everything that I have right now. Um, actually, let me let me get off my team and see if that actually is right. Right now it's a 24, so let me leave my team. Also, if you ever want to leave a team, you just go to this team button. It's right next to the public teams, and just tell them that you want to leave. Also, if you're the team leader, you can change whatever you're doing in case you're wanting more experience points for maybe events or daily ops. But I'm going to leave the team. I was at 24. Oh, wow. Wow. That dropped a lot. I thought it would be one point. Huh. Let me, let me get back on that team and just see. It might be because of other things that I have. And since I am pretty new to uh, guides and everything, I don't know a lot that I should. Let's look at it one more time. Yeah, I went up four points for just one being on the team. I don't know if that's a glitch or anything. Anyone that's more experienced, uh, please explain this to me. It could be other reasons, but I am uh, going to move on now. So we talked about teams. Um, we're talking about special points because that's what you're looking at. And I talked about my bloody build. Again, it's just having all five pieces of unyielding armor. Now, unyielding armor could also have plus to intelligence. So you might just look for armor that has a plus to the eye or intelligence. And now, let me go into perk cards. Now, you can see in my regular, I'm not very high intelligence in, <laughs> dun, 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 in this particular bloody build. I only have a 10. I'm not too worried about XP, but I might just build a special build for gaining XP, especially during the double XP weekends. I'm just scanning through this real quick. All right, so these points are ones that you actually uh, add in yourself. After you're level 50, you can actually change up your points. Maybe I need to do a special video just on that, but I wanted to go up to legendary perks. So you go straight up, hit that, and you can actually add more intelligence to yourself by getting this legendary perk card right here. Once you put four stars into it, you're actually going to get five points. Now, let me tell you one thing. 
the maximum number that you can get in this category right here is 15. So you can see these are maxed out. So what you do is when you get these legendary perk cards, let's say I got it in intelligence. So um, right now I only have five points in the intelligence. Let me get over to this build machine so maybe it shows a better visual. So you can see I have three builds here, crafting, bloody, and one for power armor. So let's go in into edit and look at my bloody one. And as you can see, I have only five. So I could actually grab some points from here. So go into the negative. And then that would give me more to play with. So I could actually add more, up to five more to hit the 15 mark. Hopefully that was a little clear. If you have any questions about what I'm saying, just Definitely, definitely throw it in the comment section. All right, on food, I did not have a list, so I could use some community help on this, um, or I might throw it in the description if I found, find more information later. But there is food that raises your intelligence. Um, now let me show you my mutations. You can always look under effects for your mutations. There is a mutation called Egghead. I do not have that one. Egghead is the one that will raise your intelligence. So if you're wanting to build an XP build, that would definitely be a mutation to grab. I did want to talk about Marsupial. Marsupial by itself, standalone mutation, is a negative four to intelligence. I love having this one. So you definitely, definitely do want to have this perk card right here. So I have it at the fullest, so my negative four becomes a negative one. So you definitely, anytime you have mutations, you want class freak and starch genes. Starch genes just make sure you, you cannot unmutate. So if you ever want to get rid of a mutation, you got to get rid of the card first before you take any rats. All right, let's see what else I have. I think that's it. Definitely, definitely would like to hear from the community other ways that you can uh, increase your intelligence. Um, I imagine there's lots of chems also um, that will help you out. I was thinking um, off the top of my head, it might have been Barry Mentaps. Uh, yeah, definitely correct me. But otherwise, that is it for this quick guide on intelligence. Yes, raise your intelligence if you want to earn more experience points. That might have been why I was doing really well, if you watched yesterday's video, very well on my XP. I am a level 600, so that does add, but to the amount of points that I'm gaining. All right, that is now it. Check you guys later. Hope this helped out. Happy gaming. Happy leveling up. Want more? Like, share, and leave a comment.